the Braille Bytes logo appears. There are two Braille letter Bs, and animated bytes are taken from two of the dots. Season 1, Episode 12, All About Me. It's time to make a book all about me. Daphne stands in a kitchen, wearing an apron with the Braille Bytes logo. A large wooden cutting board sits on the table in front of her. Who is the most important person here? It is your child. They have lots of things they already know about themselves and their family. Now it is time to record it in a book and take a step towards reading. Create a book that is predictable and easy to read. There are templates for All About Me books online or start with a basic story that talks about your family. Include repeated lines as they are easy to remember. The key ingredients for this recipe are a binder. The binder is one inch wide. Some slash pocket inserts. The pocket insert is a folder that is eight and a half by 11 inches in size. One side is three hole punched and a pocket for papers runs diagonally across the folder. And they come in a variety of colors and also in a different shapes as well but make sure that there is a pocket. You'll need some recipe cards. The recipe cards are three by five inch index cards. And also raised foam letters can add into this book as well. Daphne holds a sheet of foam letters in a variety of colors. A black felt pen would be handy and a braille labeler if you have one available. Be sure to use real objects or symbols that represent the real thing or event. For instance, if the child's favorite food is Cheerios, put a baggie of Cheerios into the pocket. Remember to let your child choose the objects or symbols that have meaning to them. If their favorite book is Goodnight Moon, you might pop in a couple of items from the room into the pocket, such as a pair of mittens and a red balloon. Self-adhesive Velcro dots and the self-adhesive laminating sheets are good to have on hand as well. Now it's time to mix it all together. This is a book about Ethan, so Ethan's name is on the front of the cover, and that's where I ended up using the, the sticky alphabet letters to put his name on the cover, and you would also add in a Braille, Braille uh, label as well. Opening up the book, we have My Name is Ethan, and the pocket insert is Ethan's puzzle. Another page to the book would be an example of something Ethan likes. Ethan likes to go to the park and wood chips were one of the things he picked up at the park. So he put them in a baggie and popped it into the pocket. So if you were making a pocket yourself from beginning to end, you would take your file card, you would write the I like sentence or the I don't like sentence, glue it on the outside of the pocket, Daphne holds a red folder and a blank index card. And as well, add the braille into the print and then into the pocket, you put the items that your child likes or doesn't like. And it would be, I like blocks and the blocks would go into the pocket. It's time to top off this recipe. This is a book that you and your child make together in stages. Maybe it starts with things that they like or maybe it begins chronicling the family. It doesn't need to be completed in one go, but added to as life around your child expands. In the pocket, add something that is associated with the person, the place, or the important thing. For instance, I have a mum might include a bracelet in the pocket similar to the one that mum wears. Or I have a brother, it might include a small toy that the brother likes to play with. Be creative. Attach your file card on the outside of the pocket. It might have the repeated line sentence in both print and braille. For instance, I live in an apartment. The inside pocket might have the apartment number on a card of raised foam numerals with braille or a key that represents the opening of the door. If using Velcro dots, remember it is important to that the adhesive dot is placed on a piece of stick it so that the backing of the Velcro does not tear the paper. This has been three recipes for building early literacy. 
For more information on these recipes, see the description below this video. Braille Bites is brought to you by Braille Literacy Canada and PRCBI. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss Braille Bites Season 2.